Let's check in with Court in the Storm Tracker Center, giving us an early look outside to start your day. Court? That's right, and Kelly, let's get that live look outside from the Deer Creek Highway camera. As you're getting ready to take on the day, I think you're going to be wanting to throw on that extra layer, maybe a nice light jacket this morning. Temperatures are brisk. You're seeing some thin clouds passing across our region. This camera is located just east of Chico, looking west over the valley. So you can see that cloud cover and a bit of haze. Air quality for the most part in our region, good to moderate. The green and yellow dots showing you that. The green good, the yellow moderate. We are seeing very unhealthy air quality in southern Plumas County into the south, but even the Butte County foothills this morning have seen an improvement and are mostly in the moderate range. Now a little bit more smoke is going to get transported north early to midday today, and then that starts to get diverted off to our east as south winds pick up this afternoon and evening, and then it's a similar pattern with a bit more smoke settling up north into northern California in the latter part of your Friday. So air quality is going to be taking a little bit of a dip as you're heading out to those Friday night football games this week. As far as what we're seeing for temperatures, 50s to low 60s in the valley, 50s to 40s in the foothills, mostly 50s there this morning, and 30s to 40s in our mountain zones. Winds light out of the northeast this morning, but in the afternoon they'll be out of the south. Not too strong, looks like gusts maybe to 15 miles an hour. Later on this evening they die off, tomorrow morning they're light, and then they get a little stronger tomorrow evening as well. But the bigger push for the wind is going to really ramp up Saturday midday into the evening with gusts up to around 30 miles an hour out of the south. So if you have plans to get out Saturday, the winds are going to be kicking in in the afternoon. We also have a chance for some showers. Satellite and radar, thin clouds passing overhead across our region. Low pressure continuing to drive these south winds, keeping our high temperatures below average today. But the big story is this cooler wet system barreling towards us in your extended forecast. And you can see heading into Friday, we start to see that dipping down off the coast of the Pacific Northwest. Heading into Saturday, that's centered just off the coast of Northern California in Oregon Saturday evening. That starts to bring those showers inland. And then as that continues to track further south, that's just pulling that moisture in, leaving us with cooler temperatures and cloudy skies. And then that's going to track through Northern California early to midweek next week, continuing to leave us with shower chances, but temperatures starting to warm up a bit. So your hyper local future cast showing you we're dry today and tomorrow. Tomorrow night there's a slight chance for a few showers just south of the Oregon border. Saturday it's some light showers possible. Sunday those showers become more substantial, especially in the evening and then into early next week those showers are really ramping up. So rain projections really not much on the way through Saturday night. Sunday we're looking at about a half an inch for the valley with a bit more in some higher elevations and then we could be seeing up to around an inch of rainfall total through next Wednesday in some valley areas and over that in our mountain zones. Highs today topping out in the 70s to low 80s in the northern mountains and the Sierra. 60s to 70s there, 60s to 70s in the foothills and upper 70s to mid 80s in the valley with sunny but hazy conditions throughout your Thursday. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast where your weekend's always in view. A little bit warmer Friday with for the most part sunny skies, cloudy with a slight chance for showers and cooler Saturday. Much cooler with widespread showers likely Sunday into early next week when we have low to mid 70s returning. Wet weather really starting to be possible Friday night, but it looks like Saturday night through Wednesday is the time frame where you're going to need to have that umbrella handy. This is a very welcome change of pace in your extended forecast.